Welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay. It's been a little while since I posted a video, and I apologize for that. Things have been a little busy and a little crazy, and I had to wait till I had some more fun so I could buy more games. So today we're going to be taking a look at Superman or Monsters. This is a new game by the developer and publisher Xform, and it is their first game. I was drawn to the pixelated style, uh, the price was reasonable, and it just looked like a lot of fun. So let's jump right in and see what we think of Superman or Monster. So you can turn on retro mode, which gets you really pixelated graphics. I'm actually going to turn off retro mode. I like that cleaner aesthetic a little bit more, to be perfectly honest. And let's jump in as the monster. Medium's fine. Dash, spin, and slam. Special attacks are very useful for clearing blocks of buildings. Now, I used to play a game on Sega Genesis back in the day where you went around and caused destruction like this fighting another monster. And I loved that. It was a lot of fun. Okay, do I have a jump? Oh, I like the dash. Nice slam attack. I think my special attack has to charge. That's really cool. So if you hit the left bumper, uh, you actually can zoom in and see a little better. And it looks pretty good, actually. I mean, for being a pixelated game like this, like, it's got a really nice aesthetic to it. I really like it. Let's collect everything we can here. We're destroying this uh, hair salon. I guess the goal is just to destroy as quickly as possible. So A button does this uh, swing. We can change our special attack. Fireball. Okay. B button does this mega slam. If you hold it, it goes all out there. Oh, we got something there. Some more fireballs. Now, I haven't been able to get the fireballs to work yet. Oh, there it is. So I just didn't have any of them, I guess. That building is done for. That is awesome. So it's a simplistic game. I mean, we can already tell it's fairly simplistic. Obviously, the first level here is going to be really, really easy. I mean, it's it's just the tutorial stage. Look at the air balloons. I wonder if we could shoot one of those out of the sky. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> That's awesome. What an attention to detail. Take out the building. Take out the boat. Oh, there's something in there. What is it? I have no idea what that is. Monster toy. Collect one. Each mission. Destroying that building. Destroying that building. Okay, so the Brutal Dash was my favorite, and I'm already out of the Brutal Dash. And that's the one where I just kind of rocketed forward. Uh, the monster is pretty slow moving. And I know that that may seem like, well, yeah, it's a giant monster, but, I mean, kind of painfully slow. Hopefully there's a way for me to upgrade that. Do your roar. <laughs> Very cool. Complete the first monster mission completed. Nice. Another city laid to waste. I really like this. This is, this is awesome. So we destroyed a bunch of stuff. We got a lot of rewards for it. Now, hopefully I can use the currency for something. Time to beat. 246. Looks like a minute is like the one I should shoot for. Ah, fart attack. It wasn't me. I unleash a horrifying smell that spreads like a disease. Very clever. Score to beat. I beat it. Coin to find. I found it. So I got two of the three um, additional optional side missions. So here we go. So the world map. You can see what the defenses are. I'm going to hit back. So let's go to play as man. Medium's fine. 
So I'm really interested in how this is going to work. Because obviously as the monster, you just want to destroy things as fast as possible. So as the man, I'm guessing you're going to try to defeat the monster? How's that going to work? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, very cool. Okay, use L to move. And I can destroy things too. Try not to shoot civilians. Fair enough. I, I can dig it. To use your jetpack. You can upgrade using man coins. Okay. Oh! So I can place... Okay, it's almost like... Uh, to change units. In the main shop. To enter a unit when you're in range? Can I get in the tank? I can! That's really cool. No, 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 no! I'm done for. <laughs> oh well. I'm sorry, tank. Monster approaching. So, let's see. Do I... Oh, oh, there he is. I was going to say, do I have a map? Mutant T-Rex. Very clever. Very cute. Where are you at, T-Rex? Where are you at, though? I hear you. There he is. Let's do the thing. Man, this is just wreaking havoc on him. Whoa! Oh, he just used his dash. Is that it? Do we get him? <laughs> Very cool. I'm guessing it's going to get a lot harder. Got a bag of cash. Do I plant my flag on him? How do I do it? There we did it. We beat him. <laughs> How can you not like this? I mean, it is, it is just... It's, it's incredible. It's awesome. <laughs> is it worth $12? Eh. But is it a good game? Yeah, this is, this is what gaming is supposed to be. It's well made. It's fun. It's stupid, but it's fun. I beat it in time, too. I didn't get the coin. That's okay, though. I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. So, where's the shop? That's my question. So, there's the mission number at the bottom left. So, there's 12 missions for the man, but these are highly replayable. I mean, yeah, you can just see we're just doing this would be a lot of fun. Monster alert. Is there a shop, though? That's my question. So um, let me go to the next mission. Mission two. There's the shop. Okay, got it. Let's go to upgrade man. Health, weapon, jetpack. I don't have enough coins. Okay. So what happened to the coins that I had? Uh... Oh, it must just be because it's the tutorial mission. That's got to be it. So that's my inventory, and then I can buy, blast stuff into Oblivion. So... Okay, it's just the left and mouse. It's the bumper buttons that switch between units. I was trying to use the directional pad. So I can buy more of these. I've got one of these, so let's definitely buy some more tanks. Let's just go 10. And 10 of these, and... Yeah, let's do it. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot harder this time. Disguising polygons as voxels. <laughs> so there's there's some love and care and time that's been put into this. It's very, very clear. Monster approaching. All right. So the monster's coming from over there. And how do I want to do this? Oh, thought I was on land there. So let's... Um, Let's start off with some turrets. Oh, can't build so close to myself. Okay. Spread them out a little bit. 
And my plan here is let's just see if we can do a ton of damage right away to this dude. Alright, let's skip the rest of the intro. Here he comes. So, same monster, different color. Where did he go? Where is he at? There he is. So that didn't work very well. I mean, he, like, got right in there. So he's aggressive towards the main character, which is good. I mean, that's, that's really good. And he's got a lot more health. Let's get in tank. Oh, snap! run around and get a few of these hearts here. Is there anything else here that I want to get? Oh, wow, he's really wrecking the city, though. I'm, like, wanting to grab some of this stuff, but I'm afraid that by the time I do... Oh, can I not? Okay, gun turret. So those boxes... So there's a coin. Are these coins here? He's gonna destroy the city. I'm like, oh, what's, what's this? Russell's is almost done for it. Did I beat him? <laughs> and this is what's left of the city. Oh, I'm in the drink. <laughs> There's like one building left. So before I... Uh, before I just run over and, and, and check out of the level, it's probably good for me to try to grab some of this stuff. 50 rounds of heavy shot. That's pretty cool. Bag of cash. I don't know what the bag of cash does. I think the bag of cash might... It's not the man coin. Oh, oh, okay. Never mind. I'm I'm an idiot. So, the bag of cash is for your buying your tanks and turrets and things. And then the man coins are for upgrading your man. Yeah. I know. Real. <laughs> real, real complicated there. <laughs> it took me a rocket scientist to figure it out. This is just awesome. I really, really, really am digging this. Now, what is this over here? Is this just the starting point, or... Yeah, it's just it's just the starting point. Got a kind of a weird graphical glitch there. I don't know if you guys could see it there on your screen. Yeah, and these coins, which I thought at first were the man coins, which is why I didn't understand why I couldn't uh, couldn't upgrade my character, are not the man coins. They're just the regular currency. Yeah, I want to upgrade my jetpack as quickly as possible. And I'm going to plant this thing way up on this dude's head. Where are you at, though? There we go. Ta-da! I would have liked if your character had a little more personality. That's my only real complaint thus far. Everything else, I love it. The music's throwaway, it's very forgettable, but it's perfect for this arcade-style game. What was the name of the game <laughs> from way back in the day where you played as monsters and you had to, like, climb buildings and destroy them, and you'd have tanks and the military and stuff trying to defeat your creature? And you just went on a rampage through, like, this side-scrolling, like, 2D environment just trying to wreck everything you could. Standard explosive barrel. Place them, stack them, shoot them. Boom. Coin found, score beaten, but obviously our time was uh, not within the time frame. That's awesome. I really like playing as the man. That's a lot of fun. So let's do one more monster level. Like a real monster level this time. So we did the first one. That was mission one. That was Amsterdam. So now let's do mission two. And then we can customize our monster. You Once you've collected some monster coins, you can use them to customize your monster. Luxury tans. Look at that. That is cool. That is really cool. We're going for green. Name generator. Cool Antonio. 
Gerard the Great, <laughs> Trudy R. Mediocre man eater. Okay, yep, that's it. What? That is awesome. I wonder if you're faster when you're smaller. Yeah, we're trying that. And then body parts. So I have to, okay. So body parts you unlock. So you can switch up your monster. Uh, statistics, health, speed, size, and strength. So what I want to do really, really quick is let's go back into customize. Let's change our size and see if that affects our speed. Sure does. So I'm going to go to customize. I'm going to shrink this guy down. I want to see what it's like to just tear around as like a little Gojira Godzilla. What? So we've got we got two dino or two creatures unlocked. So if, have I shrunk you down? There you are, all shrunk down. I'm going for green, mean green. Grandmaster Flash is going to be Grumpy Dan, Freak, Predator the Old, <laughs> the Chief, Walter the Old, Lord of the Beasts. Why is the size? Oh, it generates everything. Yeah, we're going with Lord of the Beasts. Weird though, look how small he is now, but when I generate the name, he changes size. That's really weird. I don't know if they meant to do that, but look at that. Freak the quick. We're doing it. We're going in like super small. <laughs> Alright, that's good. We're done. We're going in. Uh tail spin. Do I have cash for it? buy as much as I can and here we go I'm super impressed with this like this just embodies everything I'm looking for in a video game it's just fun I mean yeah sometimes I want like a full-blown RPG open world like you name it but sometimes I just want to sit down and just play like an arcade style game and whoa boy I think I'm gonna get my butt kicked here he's not very fast is there no jump there's no jump I'm like stuck in the water He's not quick at all. He's like super slow. Oh, this stinks. This is terrible. This is horrible. Nope, this is not flying. <laughs> oh no, this is this is miserable. Like at least as a big guy you can like just wreak havoc. Is it destroyed though? Cuz it doesn't look like it's destroyed. He's got no power. Come on, hospital. Are you are you going down? Oh, this is this is just awful. It's weird too because the hospital is acting like it's destroyed, but at the same time it's not. But every time I hit it, the yeah the level continues to show that it's being destroyed. There's got to be like a sprint. They're destroying the buildings for me. Thanks, guys. You guys are the best. With being so small, like, I seriously get stuck on the terrain. So, my recommendation is... Go with, uh... Yeah, those tanks are actually pretty, uh... Pretty resilient. So I'd say go with a bigger monster. Because I was thinking, like, I'd be, like, tearing around the city, like, fairly quickly. Nah, bro. <laughs> you're... You're just plodding along. I'm still going to beat it, though. Your your monster has a lot of health. No, I don't have any more special attacks. Like, you almost to the point where it's it seems like it's... It's better just to leave the tanks and stuff alone. So I definitely like playing as the man better. Um, not that it's not fun to just destroy stuff. That screen shake's real bad. I'm gonna see if there's a way to turn off the screen shake. Like, it's good to know when you're taking damage and stuff. That's... That's great. But the screen shake's really jarring. No pun intended. Um, it just really... Makes it hard to see and... is disorienting. Do I have any more special moves? I don't have any special moves left. And all I have is the tail spin, so... There is no other, uh... 
they just destroyed like that last building themselves. Good job, guys. Good job. City destroyed. Do your roar. Where are you at, though? Yeah, the shake's a bit much. Shake's a bit much. Epic devastation. And you make it look so easy. Very cool. I mean, that's pretty much it, guys. This is the game in a nutshell. I really like what's on display here. This is a lot of fun. Um, I enjoy playing as the man a lot more than the monster. Personal preference. Um, if the monsters were a little faster, I would actually enjoy it a lot more. I know it would probably be too easy, but I'd almost like to see them ramp up the damage that's dealt by the defense forces. Um, give you the ability to destroy them a little bit easier so that you have to, like, kind of manage... Um, and, and I almost, <laughs> I never thought I'd say this, but having a time limit on the level where it's like, you you know, you have to complete it in under a minute, I don't know, two minutes, and then you have to sit there and choose between trying to destroy the buildings and taking out the defenses, stuff like that might make the monster part a little more interesting, but I really like playing as the man and running around, and I could see this being a game where I'd play through on medium and then definitely go back and try to do it on hard. As far as longevity goes, I mean, there's, you know, 12 missions for... Uh, for the man, there's 12 for the monster, there's unlocks available, there's different monsters, you can customize, you know, the, the monster and your character if you're playing as the man. So there's a lot of different things you can tweak here. I'd say that this is a game where, I think I got it for $10, I think it's like 12 normally. I'd say this, $8 is the sweet spot for this game. 12 is totally, it's, you're, you're not getting ripped off at all. Uh, but I, I'd say $8, maybe wait for like a little bit of a sale. Um... It's got that initial sale right now, so that's why I think I got it for 10 But yeah, I'd wait maybe and try to get it for 8 It's a lot of fun. Uh, it's just going to put a smile on your face. You're going to have a blast playing it. I don't know if there's any co-op. Split screen. There is split screen. So I'm not positive, but if split screen is where... Let's see here. Split screen, mission order, best out of, control player 1. Okay. That's awesome. So one place a person can play as the monster and the other... Okay, so it's worth $12. Honestly, if you are going to play it with another person, I could see this being a blast. And it gives you single-player content, multiplayer content, very much worth $12. If you're just getting it for the single-player content and you have no interest in playing with another person, wait for a sale and get it for 8 A lot of fun. Great game. Support the devs on this one. This is the kind of stuff that I just am so thrilled when it comes out on Steam. I've got two more reviews I'm going to do here in the next 24 hours, and they're both bad games. I mean, they're bad. They're really bad. And they're the same price as this. They're both like $10, $12, and they're just garbage. Um, so I'm trying to get that out here as quickly as possible, but support the devs, grab this game, play this game, have some fun. Awesome job, guys. Awesome job, devs. And that's going to do it for me today, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions, and game on. Game on.